Summer is finally here. I can't remember the last time I trained without a top. Um, I felt weak today. And also I felt fat, to be honest with you. I can't remember the last time I recorded myself or trained topless. Uh, I don't like what I see. You know, uh, this is the he heaviest I've ever been. You know, around this region, I'm kind of fluctuating between 99, 100, 101 kilos. I'm a skinny kid, man. Skinny kid at heart, always felt it hard to put on weight. So to see myself like this, it kind of feels weird. Like I've always had a six pack, always, uh, my whole life. And not because I trained a lot of abs, it's because I carried very little body fat. Um, seeing myself on camera right now, like I'm not ashamed or whatever, I'm not embarrassed. I don't care about these types of things. But I don't like seeing my body in this state. The very next thought is, well, you want to be strong, right? It's pretty much become a norm now to see very strong guys, very lean. I am not sure if that is possible naturally. In my mind, I'm thinking to myself, if I'm going to get to 300 kilo squat the way I want to, there will be no six pack there. That's hard for me to take. You know, having a six pack is almost like a sign of health in a way. You know, that's like a, a very, very kind of zoomed out way of looking at things. But um, obviously skinny people can be very, very unhealthy. And that's, you know, the case in, in many cases. But at least a six pack shows you that you're around, I don't know, less than 50% body fat. What makes my physique worse is this anterior pelvic tilt. My gut's always spilling out. And I also store most of my fat in my abdomen. So you combine those two things, all of a sudden I feel like I'm, you know, downing a carton of beer every night. I don't like that feeling, especially when I think about how many hours I train per week. You know, if somebody doesn't train at all and, you know, and they have a body like this, they can't get upset. But I, I put a lot of effort into my body. The goals which you outline at the start of the journey matter. I never outlined that I wanted to have a six pack. I always thought I'm going to be around a comfortable body weight where I have that. In the last few months, I've worked hard. I've worked hard when I could, when I wasn't sick. With that comes a lot of calories. Recently started running as well. That exploded my appetite. I'm eating like a maniac. I'm training like a maniac. Deficit deadlifts. Block pulls. You know, rack pulls. Sets of 20, 30, 40, 50 squats. Lots and lots of work. Obviously, lots of calories. With that comes body weight. Comes extra muscle mass. With extra muscle mass as a natural person, comes a lot of fat tissue as well. So these are some conflicting thoughts, conflicting ideas, which don't really sit well uh, for me, especially on days like this. When I come in on a hot day, I feel weak and fat. That makes me feel like I'm skinny fat. What am I doing, man? I'm not even strong or... <sighs> these are some of the thoughts that come through my mind in moments like this. Obviously, when I sit back and I realize what's going on, um, it's not that bad. Um... You got to pick something. What makes it worse though is when you consume social media uh, content and you see guys with big ass six packs, big traps, shredded, deadlifting 800. That is not normal. That is not normal. I'm not sure if there's any natural person out there doing that. One of the dead giveaways of somebody using uh, performance enhancing drugs is that. Can they be that jacked and that little body fat? Those two things don't happen in nature like that. Um, but this is kind of the subconscious conditioning that we're exposed to. Okay, you want to score 300, no worries. You're going, to be, have to be, you, you're going to have to be a fat dude. But I don't want to be a fat dude. Well, pick your poison. What's it going to be? You want to be a skinny guy with a six-pack that can't freaking do anything? Or you want to be a fat dude that's strong? Such a difficult conversation in my mind. Such a, such a conflict. Where am I going to go, man? 
If you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you're not going to do anything impressive. You're not going to have an impressive physique and you're not going to be strong. Such is the life. <laughs> it's just funny sometimes. You sit back and you think to yourself, what am I doing, man? Catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.